All right, so the I can for today is I can divide four digit dividends and two digit divisors. We're going to only focus on the area model today. And what's really great about using an area model is it's a visual to understand division by creating that relationship between multiplication and division as inverse operations. For example, let's go ahead and look at some area models. I'm gonna make some up. Oh, shapes and sizes. So we'll say this is a two by two. So two centimeters by two centimeters, let's say. Let's say this is a one by four. And we'll call this a three by one. So to find the area, you do length times width, right? So we'll do two times two is four. One times four is four. And three times one is three. And to look at the visual behind that, you can see that these are your factors, right? I'll circle the green numbers as your factors, or the numbers in green as factors. And the numbers that are in red are going to be the products. In this case, it's going to be the area. So again, two times two is four, one times four is four, three times one is three. Length times width, um, width times length is equal to the area. So these are area models um, very simply. But we're gonna use the same idea to help us with division. So let's try, let's try a three digit by a two digit to start us off today. So we'll do 345 divided by 15 is equal to something. Oops, equals. So using the same idea of factor times a factor is equal to a, um, a product, we don't have two factors here. Instead we have a dividend, a divisor, and um, we're looking for the quotient, but we can rewrite this as a multiplication equation. So we're going to take the missing quotient as our missing factor times the divisor 15 is equal to 345. So as you can see, the green are the factors, right? So right here is my factor, right here is my factor, and the red is going to be the Product. So I can rewrite this expression, or excuse me, equation now as an area model. So as you can see, you can put the 15 other um, off to the side or onto the right as a factor. I'm going to choose the right, or the, excuse me, the left. And then up top is going to be my missing other factor. I don't know what that is yet. And on the inside is going to be my product. So using the area model for division, you're going to find partial quotients. I don't know how many I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna start off with two. Well, just really one, I'm just gonna add this on. So your other factor, it's not gonna be multiple factors, it's gonna actually be multiple partial factors. You're gonna add those together to get the final factor up top. So 15 times something is equal to 345. 15 times something is equal to 345. 345 divided by 15 is equal to something, being able to see that inverse relationship. So 15 groups, or how many groups of 15 can go into? We always try to look at that first digit right here as 300, right? Because the three's in the hundreds place. So 15 group, how many groups of 15 go into 300? I always like to start off with my groups of 10 because they're very easy to manipulate. You're just adding on the zero to the original factor. So 150, I know I can do better than that. 15 times 20 is 300. And whoop, you know what? If I do another multiple of 10, which is 30, I know that's gonna be over, right? It's gonna be 450. So this work down here is basically like your, your your nitty gritty hard work down here. This is where you kind of have to figure out how many groups of 15 or whatever your factors off to the side go into this um, product. So I found that my first partial quotient looking at here, a partial factor here, it's going to be 20. It's 20 groups of 15 is equal to 300. So I can subtract that and that's equal to 45. I'm gonna rewrite that same number up top in the next box. How many groups of 15 can go into 45? Oh, I know 15 times 15 times 15, or 15 groups of, three groups of 15. Sorry, not 15 times 15, 15 plus 15 plus 15 is gonna be 45. So I'm gonna write that as a three. It's my other partial factor, or partial quotient looking at the first one. 
3 times 15 is 45, subtract, and I'm going to get 0. Now looking again this and comparing it to one of these, I'm going to add, I have 15 by a 23, 20 plus 3. If I multiply those together, I should get 345. And I'm going to check my answer because I found my missing factor, right? I found the 23. And this is actually going to also going to be my quotient, 23. And that's what I was looking for originally. And I can always double check my work of division with its inverse multiplication. So 15 times 23, 5, regroup, 10, 11, hold the place value, 3, 2, 345. And we will keep there. They're equal. I checked my work using multiplication of a division problem. All right, it's a lot of information. Um, area models, it takes practice, but it's a good visual to see how you can find the groups place value by place value. And that's all for today's video.